Let's flip the throttle. Normal, normal. Right there, RPMs pick up and surge. everybody what is up what is up as always thanks for stopping by to another video today we are out on the streets of philadelphia on my harley davidson street bob and today guys i am looking for some help from you guys everybody out there for something that something weird kind of that's going on with the street bob nothing major but definitely something a little weird that i have started to notice and i'm going to show you guys here in a little bit what exactly I'm talking about, but first I'm going to describe it because it doesn't actually start happening until we've been on the bike for a little while. It's some weird stuff that's been going on with the RPMs at idle with my Street Bob after I got my Stage 1 installed. So once the bike gets warmed up and everything, I've been on it for like 30-40 minutes, there's something weird going on with the RPMs that I want to show you guys. I'm going to describe it first. And as I start to explain or describe this, please let me know down in the comments if anybody has ever experienced something similar to this. Drop it down in the comments. Let me know if this has ever happened to you guys as I explain it or stick around to once I show it. You're going to be able to hear it kind of what's going on with the RPMs at idle once we get this thing warmed up and we start to idle a little bit in neutral or with the clutch pulled in. I'm looking for help from you guys out there because I've done a little bit of research on the internet. I've tried a few things, but I haven't really been able to kind of solve it. So I'm curious to know if anyone out there has experienced what I'm about to tell you guys. So I started to notice this recently, and this is of course after I had the stage one installed. So that's with my Arlen Ness Method air intake. And of course the tune with my DinoJet PowerVision 3 tuner. We got that stuff installed. We got it mapped and everything. And so what I started to notice after I've been riding around like some days for like 35, 40 minutes, we get the bike real hot up to operating temperature. When I come to an idle, whether that's at a light and I'm just sitting there idling, whether clutch is pulled in, clutch in neutral, the RPMs start to surge a little bit. And surge is really like the best word that I can use to describe this. And the RPMs start to idle like what seems to be with like a surge, a little bit of off rhythm. And again, we're riding out along today trying to get this thing heated up to where hopefully that'll happen and I can pull over or we can idle and I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. You guys can hear it and then hopefully help me out. But anyways, like I said, we come to an idle. The RPMs normally at idle with my bike, what I've noticed are anywhere from like 850 to 920. So then what happens when I'm idling after we got the bike warmed up and been riding for a little while is I'll get this extremely weird surge of RPMs. It'll go up to like 975 to like 1050 RPMs, kind of level out around a thousand. And it's not even so much like that or number of RPMs itself. It's kind of the like off kiltered rhythm of the RPMs in that point in time. So it like, it surges up it levels off and then the other weird thing about it too is if i blip the throttle while we're idling that'll actually level it back down to like a normal rhythm and normal rpm range so <laughs> it's pretty strange what's been going on i just recently started to notice this and it's really all only ever occurred after the stage one installation and the map so again Help me out down in the comments if you guys have experienced anything like this. I'm going to try to get you a sound experience of this here shortly after we've ridden for a little bit longer. It should start happening. But like I said, let me know down in the comments if you guys have experienced this and what your solution or fix was. So what I've kind of read online as I started to research into it a little bit, some people said that they've noticed that after some of their like air intake changes or stage one installations and sometimes that can occur from like an air leak from the intake I guess so maybe that's it but I have kind of like taken it on and off put it back on check the gasket chest the steels 
I didn't really, I haven't been able to find any real air gaps or issues of airflow that would be creating that, like some people said online. The only other thing that I can really think of is potentially maybe having to like choose another map and remap it possibly. So those are, I haven't really found much information on it other than people saying that there could be a gap in the intake or a problem with like the airflow coming in and out like anything not properly sealed up down there of course with the air intake you can see a little bit of right there i've checked it up and down i haven't been able to find any issues with any gaps or anything like that the gaskets are all good everything's tight and sealed up and i haven't reached out to dino jet just yet to see if they have any solution or recommendation or different maps that I should maybe try to throw on there that'll kind of level it out. Now, like I said, the weird thing is, is it's operating, I mean, amazing. It's running perfectly fine, the best it's ever run probably. It's just that weird little situation when we get to idle that it starts to surge and like level off and throw off the rhythm of the RPMs. Now, can that be a longer term issue if we don't get that resolved potentially? I don't know. Again, that's where I'll look for some guidance from you guys out there. Hopefully, we can get a little feedback or conversation started down in the comments. You guys have helped me out before with some other stuff. So, that is the issue at hand that I'm looking for a little bit of insight or feedback from any of you guys out there. We're going to keep riding along. I'm going to hopefully have an example of that situation happening here shortly for us. So, I will be able to show you exactly what I'm talking about with the idle and the sound of those rpms and so just as an example we're idling right here in neutral so you can kind of see the rpms on the dash here kind of floating around anywhere from like you know 850 890 900 up to 920 ish range so once i get us an example next of this thing surging you're going to see it go up to like 1020 level out to like a thousand and level back down to maybe like 970 and it's not so much that it's like that high it's more so like the rhythm of the rpms that you'll see here in just a second so again just normal idle right here we're like around 850 900 ish back and forth all right guys so it's happening right now you can see the rpms are surging up to like 970 you can hear kind of that off rhythm RPM. Now watch me blip the throttle. And it went ahead and leveled back out and then it's gonna start again. And then you can see it just kicked back up. So that was the first time that it started to do it on this ride there. You can see it kind of surged up, leveled off to around like 970 to like a thousand RPMs, but it, it's the tone of it that sounds weird to me. It's the rhythm of it that sounds weird to me. Then I blipped the throttle, it leveled back out, but then it starts that rhythm again. So our next chance, we're gonna try to see if we can get it to happen again at our next chance to idle, but I'll give you guys a couple more looks at it. But like I said too, as you can see back there, we took off totally fine. The bike is operating totally fine. Normal sounds, normal temperatures, everything normal while we're riding it. It's just through that idle where that little surge kicks in and you can even correct itself by just blipping the throttle there, but then it surges back up. So let's see if we get another opportunity here to look at it. All right, so we're actually gonna pull over here into this parking lot and let the bike run. This should give us a good look at this here. I'm gonna put it in neutral. So we're normal, there we go. You hear it just start to surge. RPMs are floating around a thousand. So this should be coming through on the microphone pretty clear. Now I'm gonna blip the throttle. You hear the rev and it levels back out. And then right there, you just heard it pick up again. I'm gonna hop off momentarily here. You can hear that idle. That's what I'm talking about right here, guys. Now watch me blip the throttle. Levels out, quiets down. And then right there, those RPMs pick back up and sound a little strange again. 
Uh, one more time. Let's blip the throttle. Normal, normal. Right there, RPMs pick up and surge. One more time, blip the throttle. Levels out. Normal, it's normal. And then right there, you hear those RPMs surge again. So I'm gonna turn the bike off for now. And then what I would typically notice is once I turn the bike off, go back out, ride, it, it doesn't really happen again for like another, you know, 30, 40 minutes or so. So I'm not entirely sure what is causing that again hadn't happened until the stage one map and tune and intake had been done to it. And so again, guys, that's really just the big question I have for you guys. Has anybody encountered that scenario? And if so, how did you fix it? Again, I've checked all through here for the seals and everything. I read online that maybe airflow or an air leak could be an issue there. I guess maybe I might have to check the exhaust a little bit closer here when I get this thing cooled down. I could check the headers there, make sure everything is sealed tight there. But again, that never happened until the map of the stage one. So I don't know, maybe I'll have to check with DinoJet to see if this is anything they've encountered. Maybe I have to change, just simply change the map, reflash it or retune it to something else. But again, just to recap, I'm looking to you guys for any insight here or any help. If you guys have ever had a situation with your RPMs surging at idle, let me know what you did drop it down in the comments and let me know again the bike is operating totally good totally fine it's just that little increase and in surge in rpms at idle and again you blip the throttle that helps it clears it out calms it down but then it just surges right back up so just a quick one today that'll start to wrap this one up guys again i will be curious to hear from you guys down in the comments for any tips or suggestions or corrections or experiences you guys had with that but that will wrap it up for now we're going to continue out for a ride on this lovely day so of course if you like anything we got going on here make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel like this video and as always make sure you guys ride safe out there make it a good one guys it's the moto john we'll see you all on down the road peace